kuna siku tunapata samaki kwa wengi tunapata kidogo kuna siku vile vile atupate kitu bidi ule sima kwa sukari kwa sukari E kitambo samaki walikuwa kwa sababu kwanza wavuvi walikuwa kidogo halafu alikuwa hakuna fujo la watu wengi huko mafuoni ma hoteli alikuwa kidogo kwa sababu hizo hoteli humwaga zile sumu sumu zao za, za kwenye ma swimming pool za kwenye vioo humwaga baharini wananchi wa Tana River ni maskini sisi hatustahili kuwa maskini kwa sababu Tana Delta iko na, na mali ya asilia nyingi sana kama tunakwenda huko hatufai shati tunavua shati tunavua kiatu tunavua kofia tunabaki hivi hivi hapa tu kofia mwisho wake ni hapa hapa tanki simga hapo mipaka ni huende nende bali The Kenya coastal and marine environment is rich in biodiversity and natural resources that support livelihoods of a rapidly growing population, currently estimated at 3.3 million. This include coastal reefs, mangrove forests, seagrass beds, estuaries, marine species and coastal heritage sites amongst other resources. Besides supporting livelihoods, the resources also drive various economic activities including tourism, agriculture, maritime and fisheries, which make a significant contribution to the local and national economy. For instance, about 60% of the contribution of tourism to the national economy is known to come from coastal tourism. Away from the goods of these resources, the coastal biodiversity, especially rich in endemic species, has degraded over the years as a result of anthropogenic pressures. The resources continue to face threats from various causes. Among the key issues causing degradation of the coastal and marine biodiversity is low levels of understanding and awareness on the linkage between the environment, livelihoods and economic development, thereby contributing to the loss of biodiversity occasioned by pollution, deforestation, human-wildlife conflict, and encroachment of the shoreline and wildlife habitats. To begin with is the coastal mangroves whose vegetation has been reducing day by day. Yet the significance of these trees cannot be underscored. The mangrove forest ecosystem, in addition to acting as a buffer to extreme weather events, contributes immensely to the socio-economic well-being of the coastal communities. The vegetation act as a natural habitat for marine species and provide breeding areas for fish. The trees also protect the shoreline from damaging storms and hurricane winds, waves and floods while maintaining water quality and clarity. They also filter pollutants and trap sediments originating from land. Mkoko ni mti muhimu sana katika huu ulimwengu. Unajua wakati mwingi sisi wanajamii watu kiona mikoko si tunaona miti ya kujengea tunaona kuni, lakini mikoko ina faida zaidi ya kujengea na kuni. Kwa hivyo mikoko ina umuhimu sana hasa ni upande wa 
ni nyumba ile na ni mahali ambapo samaki wanaweza kutaga mayai na wakazaa na kama sisi tupata samaki kila siku hapa kwetu tusifika kwa samaki kupitia mikoko kama si mikoko ngoa tuna samaki maneke samaki hizi za sehemu nyingine sipokuwa mikokoni kama hakuna mikoko tutapata samaki hatuwezi alafu pia mikoko tutapata hewa safi kwa sababu mkoko wa pumwa wa take in carbon dioxide five times than a normal tree given the diversity of life inhabiting mangrove systems and in many cases their proximity to other tourist attractions such as coral reefs and sandy beaches the coastal mangroves also have great ecotourism potential a potential that only a few conservation groups have started to tap into classic examples are the Mida Creek Conservation Group in Kilifi County Mikoko Pamoja Project and the Gazi Women Group of Gazi Bay sisi kama Gazi Women manufaa ambayo tumeta ni kama kujenga hii ecotourism boardwalk ambayo hii boardwalk inatusaidia sisi kuhifadhi zaidi mikoko kwa sababu mgeni akija hapa ikiwa tumekata mikoko ataona nini lakini ikiwa kuna mkoko ni lazima mgeni atakuja tembelea tembelea na furai na apewe pesa zile pesa zinatusaidia wa community kwa sababu mapato ambayo tunapata kupitia wale wageni wanaopanda boardwalk pesa hizo zinarudi tena kwa jamii tulipia karo kwa hivyo kwa sasa hii tumelipia watoto 555 kutoka kwa jamii uh, ikiwa hayo ni baadhi ya mafanikio vijana wengi kabla uh, baada kuanza home radi vijana wengi pia nao walikuwa maisha yao yako chini kidogo lakini wengi wameweza kujengea nyumba nzuri wameweza pia kwa maisha yao kuyaboresha zaidi uh, hivi hayo yote ikiwa ni, ma, ni mafanikio kutokana na mazingira but despite the good that comes with the mangroves this important ecosystem is fast diminishing in the coastal region due to factors which are mainly anthropogenic. The trees face threats of deforestation as local communities still depend on them for firewood, furniture, boats, charcoal and timber amongst other uses. Kuna illegal harvesting, kuna watu wao wanaingia kwenye project area zetu, wanajaribu kukata na kuharvest hii mikoko kinyume cha matarajio yetu ama cha sheria nani zetu lakini kiupande wa hii illegal harvesting inasababishwa ni kwamba hakuna clear boundaries katika lile eneo letu sasa so, efforts ambazo tumefanya tumeandika askari wawili ambao wanailinda wanalinda hizi ama eneo yetu ambayo tumetengewa na pia tumetengeneza watch tower ambao hao askari huwa wanatumia kulinda hii mikoko in a bid to curb the effects of mangrove deforestation and degradation a section of local community groups have continued to protect and replant the trees a prospect that not only saves the environment but also serves to net in more cash and fish situated in Gazi Bay Kwale County Mikoko Pamoja loosely translated as mangroves together is the first community carbon project in the world to conserve mangroves through the sale of carbon credits the project a blue forest solution has focused on climate change mitigation and awareness creation. Mikoko Pamoja is a community based organization located in Gazi Bay, Kwale County, which does mangrove conservation and restoration and community development through carbon crediting. And it is the first project uh, the first community led project in the world to do uh, blue carbon crediting. The Mikoko Pamoja project has seen 4000 mangrove seedlings get planted every year which result in carbon saving. Through the sale of carbon credits the community generates revenue for initiating community development activities. In the 3 years the project has been running it has funded education and water projects and restored mangroves in Gazi Bay. Ile pesa yote tunayopata kutoka kwa kuuza hii hewa ka huwa inapelekwa kwa wanajamii na wanajamii wote wenyewe ndio ambao wanaamua hizi pesa tutazitumia vipi Today Mikoko Pamoja has its own economic unit featuring 450 meters of broad walk among the trees where six of the nine mangrove species in Kenya can be seen The community through the Gazi Women Group also run a restaurant serving Swahili foods to tourists Eh sisi tunajenga pia ile local banda ambayo tunapikia chakula most Swahili dishes ya wageni. Alafu pia tumejaliwa kupata kufuga nyuki kwa tikamicho ya mikoko wa baharini kwa sababu tupate asali ya mikokoni. This community group spurred into action by research from the Kenya Marines and Fisheries Research Institute, Kefri, 
remain a classic example of how collaborative biodiversity conservation is achieved. Sasa ningependa wasikate mikoko ovyo ovyo. Instead tutumie ma energy saving jikos kama tunataka mambo ya kupikia. Tutatumia kuni kidogo kama kuni tatu tu. Sasa tunatupande mivinje miti ile ya kando, mivinde ile koshorinas. Ile tu angalau isaidie tupunguze pressure ya kukata mikoko. Mazingira tunapoyatunza tutunza. Hivyo ni lazima tutie jitihada kwamba haya maeneo yetu tunahakikisha kwamba tuna hifadhi yatatusaidia sisi na vizazi ambavyo vinakuja. Kwa hivyo uh, japo tumejaribu lakini bado tuendelee kukaza kamba ndio maana sisi mapato yetu yataendelea na pia nao wale ambao wako nyuma zetu pia nao wataweza kufaidika. Away from the mangroves are the fisheries that not only form an essential source of food but also remain an economic backbone and a way of life for thousands of coastal communities. The coastal fisheries in a substantial way support auxiliary industries such as boat making and repair, net making, agriculture through seeds and feed provision, transport, sports and recreation. We have the importance of these resources to these peoples because of employment, because quite a number of uh, our people are employed directly or indirectly uh, in this uh, area. So we are talking of the traders, we are talking those who own boats, we are talking those who repair and maintain boats, those who repair and maintain nets, those who are just processing, they buy and processing. So we are talking of a lot and many, many people. According to the fisheries catch assessment surveys conducted in coastal Kenya in 2016, artisanal fisheries along the Kenyan coast supports the livelihoods of thousands of coastal communities. The annual marine fish production is estimated to be about 9,000 metric tons, which is equivalent to 7% of the national fish production from capture fisheries. So we did a frame survey. This is a total census of the fishers as they called as we, last year. Uh, we got uh, a total of 13,000 fishers. Kuna siku napata samaki kwa wengi, napata kidogo, kuna siku vile vile atupata kitu bidi ule sima kwa suka. Pasukari, huwa umevua net dry ya kuna kitu. Tegemea miaka na mivua. Mivua ikiwa meonyesha vizuri, basi kile kipato kina kuwa nyingi. Weza pata kilo wa msini, stini. Mm. Lakini kama mvua imekuwa chache, kipato na kuwa kama kilo salasini, arubaini, hapo, shirinatano. Sizo ni kwa nzuri. Na sizo ni kama ndogo, sangina weza pata kilo moja, sangina tamo moja usipata. Ile kuwa tumevua bila kupata kitu, sizo tuamini ni risk leo, tunapata, kesho. Despite the socio-economic importance of the coastal fisheries, they are threatened by a host of anthropogenic and climate change impacts. Fish habitats including mangroves, sea grasses and coral reefs are threatened by human activities such as mangrove extraction and planned expansion of coastal cities, agriculture and marine pollution. E, kitambo samaki walikuwa kwa sababu kwanza wavuvi ilikuwa kidogo. Halafu alikuwa hakuna fujo la watu wengi humu mafuoni ma hoteli alikuwa kidogo kwa sababu hizo hoteli humwaga zile sumu sumu zao za, za kwenye ma swimming pool za kwenye vyo humwaga baharini. Sasa vile mpivu mpivu wa bari na mbawale samaki uja wakila vyafa. Na zile nyasi nyasi zinazomea samaki mbawa maficho yao pia zafa. Sasa samaki ya wajitena na baki mchanga kama hivu. Economically they are not uh, good. So with that they'll tend to utilize the resources maximally. Now they can use destructive gears that destroy the environment. And one of the destructive gear that uh, is very chronic in some areas, not in every area, but in some areas we have beach sanding. Uh, beach sanding is that a net that is pulled from both sides. There's a team this side, there's a team this side, then you pull it towards a shore. That's beach sanding. And it's not allowed in our laws in Kenya. High demand for land in the coastal areas for tourism infrastructure development continues to limit access to fishing sites. Normally have uh, challenges of uh, encroachment by developments. Uh, as you can see, some hotels have encroached, but we are trying very much to discourage that. 
so that we don't uh, erode our beaches. Moreover, the increasing demand of fish food, population growth and lack of alternative livelihoods has resulted to overfishing, thus threatening the sustainability of the coastal fisheries. Wengine mapato yao ni chini. Sasa wametegemea uvuvi. Sasa karibu jamii zote zinaenda kwa mahali pamoja. Kwa hivyo kwa sababu wote wanategemea kuvua samaki wale wale kwa wakati mmoja wale samaki pia wanapungua. Na sasa kipato kimeshuka zaidi na wasaii wa uvuvu wamekuwa wengi vifaa vimekuwa vingi sehemu eneo dogo hatuna boti kubwa za kwenda dipsi kufuata samaki inabidi ni maeneo yale yale ya zamani na sasa ni tofauti like most other developing countries Kenya's marine fisheries are mostly small scale fisheries that operate at the coastal line this period of the year where we have these strong winds the sea is very rough with the small canoes you can't even go beyond one nautical mile so you'll be forced to uh, to, to fish within the coral reefs areas or the creeks kitambo ilikuwa siku nzuri za kutoka nata shilingi 8000 kwa siku lakini sasa hii siku kama ni nzuri ni shilingi 3000 4 lakini siku kama ni mbaya siku hizo zapata 100 pollution and its destructive effects on marine resources is today a major concern with clarion calls to conserve marine life growing louder by the day prompt implementation of the current evolving integrated coastal zone management approach is among the key ways of conserving these resources that are essential to the well-being of the coastal populations communities are now coming up with the collaborative management areas these collaborative management areas they have some areas they have set aside for fully conservation they regulate some of the BMUs they regulate the fishing methods they remove the destructive fishing methods some of them told even uh, close that area for total conservation kwa kama zingira ni kama hizo neti zetu macho yetu macho yake ni makubwa na shika wale samaki wakubwa kubwa wale wadogo wanapita wanapita ah inasemekana kuwa inaharibu mazingira But we are happy that some of the BMUs have really eradicated this through their own initiatives and efforts within their areas. Yeah, but there are those who have not yet, but we are still working towards sensitizing them on the importance of uh, the sustainability of these resources. There's need to have an effort-based management approach to avoid depletion and continuous strengthening of the beach management units in terms of capacity building so as to increase resource ownership. Coastal restoration by the BMUs at Shimoni is a classic example of communal ownership of the fisheries and marine biodiversity conservation efforts. Baada ya ya ukarabati wa ule ya ile tulifanya kwa kweli ukija sasa katika site zetu utaona wewe mwenyewe utaona maji. Mao yamekuwa mazuri, samaki yamekuwa wazuri na usitosheke na hilo tu. Pia tuko na ushahidi. Ukiangalia data za mambo tunachukua za samaki sisi wenyewe tunachukua na data zetu watu wa Kemfire ambao sana ndio wanakuja pia kuchukua data wanaona pia samaki wamekuwa wengi hii kazi ya mazingira inahitaji ushirikiano tuweze kufanya kazi pamoja maana kuna changamoto nyingi ila tunapoingiliana pamoja kusukuma ili gurudumu la mazingira na mimi kuna mahali ambapo tutafika ila haya yote yanafanywa kwa sababu ya ushirikiano